If you think the scene you just watched is from an old movie, I kind of think that it looks like one, but you are completely wrong because I composited this scene in less than half an hour in DaVinci Resolve. With just a few simple effects and some basic color grading, you too can create awesome videos like this one. So today I'm going to show you green screen compositing with just a few simple steps. Let's not waste any time and jump right into the tutorial. Okay, we can start right away. I will add the two clips we are going to combine to the timeline. The first one is our background clip. The second one is our green screen clip. We have this cool guy here looking for his place and direction. All right, let's move this over to the side. We don't need the audio for this one, so let's delete it. First, let's remove the background. I will click on this clip and go to the effects gallery. With open effects selected, I will type here here. We will see three king options. I will drag the 3D keyer onto the clip. Then in the effects panel, some settings appear. We are going to use these to key out the green screen background. First, we need to select the color picker. Then I will click on any green area. But you'll notice nothing happens. That's because we need to go to the menu at the bottom left of the viewer. I will click here and select open effects overlay. Now let's choose the picker again and draw a line like this. See, the background starts disappearing. I think it's a good start, but when we look closely, we can see green edges around our character. We will try to remove these using other options here. First, let's go to the key adjustments. I will increase the chroma tolerance a bit. Let's see what it does. Not much of a change. Let's try luma low. I will raise it a bit and also the luma high. Yes, that made a bit more of a difference. To address the green outline around the edges, I will select soft under color behavior options. We can see it reduces the green slightly. Then I'll increase this bill to the maximum. This works really well, removing the green edges completely. Now let's check matte finesse, which improves the selection. Clean black affects the edges slightly, but we shouldn't overdo it or it will alter the selection too much. The pre-filter and in and out ratio can help. I'll reduce the ratio slightly. As you can see, it eats into the edges a little, which helps refine the selection. Okay, I will also adjust the blur radius slightly for a softer edge. I think we've achieved a pretty good result. Finally, to ensure no selected areas remain, I will check the output using alpha highlight. When we select this, everything we want to keep should appear white and the rest should be black. I think this looks pretty good. We can go back to final composite. The green screen key is ready. Let's check the result. When we place the background, we see it fits really well. I will resize the character slightly so he won't stand out too much. Let's move him to the right a bit and show more of the this deer in the background. Perfect. To make the composite more believable, I will color match the character with the background. Let's separate these clips and go to the color page. In the color page, I will enable split screen and select versions, then selected clips. I'm holding control. I will select both clips for comparison. I'm looking at my scopes. I will try to match the green screen clip to this background clip. Let's create a second node. I noticed that in the shadows, the green screen clip has slightly higher reds and greens. So with the lift wheel, I will adjust the red level slightly. Don't worry if the character looks a bit red. I will balance it. Next, I will increase the greens and the blues. While I'm doing this, I'm looking at my scopes. Let's switch to the log wheels. I will adjust the highlights. The green in the highlights could use a slight boost. This gives the character a warmer tone. Let's go back to the first note. I will lower the contrast slightly. It seems like the highlights of our character are slightly more intense compared to the background. I will reduce them a bit. Let's check the image again. I also want to lift the shadows a little to open them up. Yes, that's better. Now I will move to the second note and then use the gain slider to adjust the tones. I'm relying entirely on the scopes while doing this. Okay, I think we can slightly increase the overall light level here. Let's check again. We might need to reduce the green levels slightly. Okay, when we stack the clips again, I think it looks much better now. It really feels like they exist in the same world. Before the red tones in the green screen image stood out too much, but now we have brought it closer to the yellow tones of the background. 
Maybe it's a bit overdone, but that's okay. It's not a big problem. We could slightly lower the gain if needed, but overall I think it looks great now. Okay, our composition is ready, but as we watch these two clips together, we are going to notice that the motion of these don't match. In other words, we need to synchronize the movement of the background with the foreground subject. For this, we are going to use Fusion. If you have never used or even opened Fusion before, don't worry, it's not a problem. We are going to do this very easily using just one effect. I will select both clips, right click and choose new Fusion clip. Then let's switch to the Fusion page. In the Fusion page, just like the color page, we are going to see no trees. One node represents the background footage and the other represents our character. I will click on the node 1 and we can view it in the other window. Let's also rename the nodes for clarity. I will press F2 and name the first one BG for the background. For the second node, I will press F2 again and name it character. Now we are going to transfer the motion data from the background to the foreground. First, select the background node and then press Shift plus space, type Planner Tracker and select it. Click Add to apply the effect. When you click Add, you are going to see that it will appear after the background node. With the Planner Tracker node selected, we will adjust some settings in the inspector. Set the tracker to Area and the motion type to Translation and Rotation. Under Reference Time, click Set. We are currently on the frame 94 and we will track forwards and backwards from here. Next, we will draw a mask around the area of the background with high contrast. Then, in the tracking option, we are going to track forward first. Once that's complete, we are going to track backwards. Okay, now that the tracking is finished, we have the motion data for the background. With this data, click on Create Planner Transform to generate a new node. Place this new node after the character node. With this setup, the motion of the character now matches with the background. This ensures that the character moves seamlessly with the background, making the effect far more convincing. Alright, finally, since everything is now composited, we can return to the color page for final grading. To speed up the process, I'm going to use one of my custom LUTs. I will go to the LUTs menu and then select my custom Kodak 2383 LUT. It might look a bit harsh, so let's adjust the strength. In the key output menu, I will reduce the intensity to about 60%. Before the LUT, I will add another node and go to the HDR panel. Here, I'm going to slightly lower the warmth and reduce the tint for a cooler look. Okay, I think the colors turned out pretty cool. If needed, you can always go back to the character's video and make further adjustments to this selection. DaVinci Resolve is an incredibly powerful tool and it allows us to achieve advanced effects like this effortlessly. I mean, you can even put yourself into your favorite movies with just a few simple clicks. So feel free to share your thoughts in the comments. If there is another type of tutorial you would like to see, please let me know. To support me, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Until then, take care.